Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to iFactner.com's technical video tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are going to discuss about the term MIS. MIS stands for Management Information Systems or Manager of Information Systems or Manager of information services. We will discuss all these terms and we will also discuss about the difference between the usage of this term MIS in the industry and in the educational institutions. So, let us start our tutorial. In the industry MIS stands for Management Information Systems. These are the information systems which are used by the managers or by the management to make decision. Usually these systems take the information from the end user or from the lower level staff, process that information on daily basis or weekly basis and then produces or produce the reports for operational or middle level managers. So, these systems help the lower level managers and the middle level managers to make the informed decisions. Usually, these systems are used for ongoing operations of the company. These systems are used in the bigger organizations and uh, usually they work in combination of ERPs that is Enterprise Resource Planning System, CRM, Client Relationship Management System, Decision Support Systems, Accounting System and so on and so forth. So, MIS is a part of the IT infrastructure of the company. Sometimes for the middle level companies or the smaller companies, we use the term MIS that is management information systems for all kind of IT related systems. But it is better if we take management information systems as a separate entity. Now, let us discuss about the manager of information systems or the manager of management information systems. Usually, he or she is a technical manager and he is responsible for the software, hardware, databases and other IT infrastructure related to the management information system. And sometimes we just call them as information systems or information technology systems or information and communication technology systems. And as we have already discussed, they are different from ERPs, DSS, C client relationship management systems and other systems that a company may be using. Now, let us explore what do we mean by MIS in the educational scenarios. Usually, we use the term MIS for the studies of information systems, management, uh, people using the, those systems and the organization. We try to uh, do the studies and do the research of the relationship between the human aspect and the 
technological aspect from the organizational point of view. Usually, MIS uh, uh, is uh, a separate department in the faculty of technology policy and management and sometimes a master's program is offered in the field of MIS or management information systems and there is a separate master's program that is masters of information system being offered by top business schools in the world. Now, we will discuss what do we mean by manager of information services. Now, in the service industry or in the consultancy firms, we have got MIS managers, that is manager of information services. And in some industries, we have got manager of information services as the top level manager who oversees management information systems, ERPs, client relationship management systems, supply chain, man chain management system, the financial systems and they also overlook an IT team who is working on those systems. Usually, manager of information systems works under the manager of information services. So guys and girls, thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial. Please like this tutorial and share it with your friends and family. Please visit ifactner.com and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in an other tutorial. Until then, take care, keep learning, keep enjoying. Good day.